Hello, I'm Howard Spence. I'm Eaton County Commissioner representing residents in Eaton County and Delta Township, Michigan. Delta Township is a suburb of the city of Lansing, Michigan. And I'm here to share today with you a videotape that I took of a recent press conference held at the Greater Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce uh, offices where history was made to a certain extent here in mid-Michigan where for the first time we have a collaborative effort between counties to benefit our residents. Uh, this collaboration is between Eaton County, uh, Clinton County, and Ingham County, uh, three adjacent counties which all touch the city of Lansing, Michigan. And this particular uh, press conference dealt with the signing of a memorandum of a understanding or a collaborative agreement in which the three counties agreed that they would uh, begin by making collaborative efforts to uh, be more efficient, to save money, uh, to push the concept of regionalism uh, to further extents, uh, and then see where that collaboration might grow and what other types of activities might uh, be subject to a collaborative effort. And this particular video shows each of the uh, uh, three county Board of Commissioner Chairmen uh, uh, talking about this project. The uh, uh, speakers uh, from the three counties are uh, Chairman Blake Mulder from Eaton County, uh, Chairperson uh, Kara Hope from Ingham County, and Chairman uh, Robert Showers from Clinton County. And we also have on this videotape uh, some short comments uh, by way of introduction from uh, former Lansing Mayor David Hollister and uh, uh, the whole focus of this effort is to uh, benefit our residents uh, by bringing efficiencies and hopefully uh, bringing a little more uh, economic political power to uh, our mutual concerns and interests uh, as presenting those to the legislature or elsewhere as regional issues that require regional funding and considerations. So I hope that you will enjoy this. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge that this particular collaboration uh, uh, brings into focus the interests and help uh, of Michigan State University uh, that uh, has provided uh, a major financial uh, ec economist to help this particular committee as well as the City of Lansing deal with a number of pressing governmental uh, issues that we all are facing uh, and will have to address, including issues like unfunded liabilities, uh, the economic growth of our area, uh, the synergy of uh, regionalism, and uh, as you will hear the comment made, uh, Eaton County may end at Waverly Road, but we cross that road every day to get into the city of Lansing where many, if not most of us, uh, work. And uh, the same thing is true uh, for the other uh, boundaries to the city of Lansing. So enjoy this. If you have questions, uh, feel free to uh, address those perhaps to the Michigan Association of Counties. Uh, that uh, uh, issues also a, a press release on this activity or any of the uh, uh, chairman or controllers of the three counties that are involved. So thank you for taking time uh, to listen to this video uh, conference, videotape of the conference. Uh, we're optimistic and hopeful that it's the start of some new, bigger, and better things for the people of Central Michigan. Um, we, we, we celebrate today uh, the very significant Step because these three counties and the chamber and the university are committing to collaboration in win-win incremental ways. And I was pleased to be able to uh, invite uh, the three chairs to be part of the Lansing Financial Health Team because we've been looking at the issues of um, legacy costs and impact all governments. And we're looking at infrastructure issues and we're looking at regional cooperation. And all three have agreed and they attended the first session, all three together, 
in, uh, in April, and it will be uh, from this point forward uh, involved in the, uh, the inner operation of the financial uh, management team. So this is a significant incremental step. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the work that's gone into it. It's only taken three years. <laughs> asked the bill and the legislature took 16 years. So <laughs> when you talk about regional collaboration, you're talking about persistence. David Cole, who worked with me uh, when he did the Keep You campaign, said collaboration is an unnatural act between non-consenting adults. <laughs> it's tough. It's hard work. But if you're persistent, you'll make progress. And with these partners, I think you're going to see real progress in the future. Thank you. Well, thank you, David. Our next uh, speaker, and please introduce is uh, Kara Holt. And Kara is the current chair of the Ingham County Board of Commissioners. Good morning, and welcome to Lansing, the heart of uh, the Tri-County region and the center of industry innovation and a hub of really diversity and new ideas. And that's something we benefit from having our capital here and the university just down the street. Um, there's been mention here of the length of time it's taken to reach this point today. And, and really when this came up to our board, it was an easy decision for us. I think we all recognize that this is the natural outgrowth of decades, really, of collaboration. Um, that you can see through entities like Tri-County Office on Aging, Tri-County Regional Planning, and CMH, to name a few. Um, credit's been given to Bob Showers, and certainly that's well-deserved. Uh, Blake Boulder, my colleague from uh, Eaton County, and, and Commissioner Brian McGrain, who was a previous chair who led this effort. I also want to recognize my colleague from the Ingham County Board of Commissioners, Brian Crenshaw, who's here today. Um, I think this agreement today, Rick. It's an embodiment of our commitment to collaboration. It's recognition that we're stronger if we all pull in the same direction. And even if collaboration is an unnatural act, uh, it represents the best, I think, of what government can be when we put our differences aside, when we take a practical approach to serving our, re our residents, and we focus on those things that we have in common. Um, we're all stronger when we pull in the same direction. We're stronger together. And I, I want to thank the Lansing Regional Chamber for facilitating this conversation as well as Michigan State University. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Tim. Thank you. Kara, thank you. And uh, our next speaker, uh, Blake Muller. Blake is the chair of the Eaton County Board of Commissioners. And Blake and I were chatting this morning, and Blake has been there at the table during the, the course of the, these conversations. And Blake not only comes, I think, as, uh, as an elected official, as an Eaton County Commissioner, but also as a small business owner. So I think the perspective that, that Blake brings to not only this conversation, but becoming a part of that city of Lansing, FHT as well, it gives us a little bit different dialogue as well. So please join me in welcoming Blake Muller. to be part of this group. For the years, we've seen Waverly Road and Eaton Highway. They're not magic lines. Our citizens trans transfer across those, those roads continually. We have businesses in Eaton County, including GM Delta Plan, and Auto Owners Insurance, and Farm Bureau. We really have a lot of Ingham and Clinton County residents working in my county, and vice versa. Um, we have numerous MSU employees that are that are living in Eaton County. And we see the importance of all the region. I look out at Michigan Avenue and I know, I, I travel it regularly going over to MSU. We know that it's critical to the growth of our entire region. We're comfortable with that. We're looking forward to it. I find my board members on Eaton County regularly involve themselves with activities uh, in the Tri-County region. I, I'm very comfortable with the direction we're going and looking forward to where we're going. I want to thank uh, the other chairs for being involved in this and keeping the ball rolling. It is a long process, but government moves slowly. We're, we look at all aspects of, of the, the project. We're making sure that 
we've got a lot of buy-in from elected officials and from our, our citizens, and it makes me very proud to be a member of this group and uh, look forward to the future of the things that we can do in the next couple of years. So again, thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to the future of this activity. Thank you. Uh, Blake, uh, our next uh, speaker, I'm uh, pleased to introduce is Eric Scurson, and Eric is the director of Michigan State University's Center for Local Government Policy and Finance, and I can't tell you how fortunate we are that uh, President Simon has, uh, I think she's somewhat kind of loaned Eric to, uh, you know, to our region really over the last four or five years, but uh, I'm not sure that there's a, uh, a greater expert anywhere in the country when it comes to municipal financing and local government uh, activity and so we're certainly pleased to continue to have Eric as a as a strong partner of this uh, this collaboration as well so please join me in welcoming Eric. Thank you Tim. Um, well and I want to thank the three counties and the chamber for this uh, really important event. I think you know if we look at this region we've, we've started to recover from the Great Recession as the state has as a whole. Our unemployment rate is down we're seeing you know, business activity improving, but we've got a long way to go. And we operate in a global economy where there's very stiff competition. If you have a chance to travel overseas, you can see that on a daily basis. So this is a kind of event we need, a regional partnership to move the region forward. We need new investment, we need new population growth, and we need it in the core of the region because the national trends tell us people are moving back to cities, and densely populated cities lead to greater labor productivity and other economic benefits. So I look forward to this partnership. I think over the years we're going to see some real benefits from it. And I think that this is exactly the way we need to go. And I want to also note, this is very unusual in Michigan. You know, par partnerships and, and cooperation among governments is, is unfortunately not as common as it should be. Having three counties come together like this is really something you don't see in many parts of Michigan. So I think we're definitely pioneers in that sense, and I think it's going to pay off to us uh, in some significant ways down the road. So thank you. Thanks, Eric. And now I'd please introduce Bob Showers. And Bob is the uh, chair of the Clinton County Board of Commissioners. I was retired, the other two chairs were not, so I had more time. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for coming today for the initiation of this regional effort. Uh, I want to thank Brian Grain personally for the, his work, and Deb Nolan this year pass on my thanks to her as well. They were part of the fund group, one of Blake Mulder, and we're happy that, that Kara is here to make up the message for uh, him coming this time. Uh, we're very pleased to uh, have gotten this far. I was asked to talk about the history of this particular effort. I recall when I first went to Tim Damon's office, he said, who is this crazy guy from the Red? Uh, he has some great ideas, but uh, we all recognize, I'm speaking of all the, and by the way, I'm two of my fellow county commissioners here, Ken Mitchell and Cam Washburn, and thanks John for coming. And I see my good friend Howard Spencer, even kind of was hiding when we were taking his photos. Thank you, Howard. <laughs> Yeah, make sure we're on Facebook. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll make you stars. <laughs> uh, when we began this initiative uh, several years ago, it was clear to, to me that all of my fellow commissioners from all three counties had one goal in mind, that was to in some way enhance the prosperity and economic opportunities for their constituents. That was true of all of us. And I think that Tim was part of that. I, mean, I, I want to thank Tim Damon for his, for his efforts He's, believe me, he's put a lot of stuff in the last two years, and um, without, without the chamber, we wouldn't be here today. And I thank him for that. I also want to thank Dave Hollister for inviting us to the Lansing Financial Health Team for nothing more than give support. I think that's a huge recognition, and I thank uh, Mayor Burge Monero for thinking of that as well. And I appreciate the efforts that the mayor is making along the city council to improve Lansing's financial stability. Huge task. I think they're up to doing it, and that's a really, a, a really good thing. I also want to take, thank uh, Dr. Glenn Simon for uh, giving us Janet Lilly and Dr. Scorsone, who happens to be my constituent, so I have to behave today. <laughs> uh, they've been a, a real asset to us in, uh, in moving this agenda forward. Uh, I think that it's important for you to understand that the initial consensus was 
with no disrespect to our smaller municipalities in our three counties, that we are going to focus on improving the image of Lansing, along with East Lansing, which is, you know, there's the corridor there, so they're the same, but our focus was to make Lansing a gem, if you will, or try to, uh, and bring economic opportunity there, because if you really think about it, I'm looking in this room, probably 99% of you work in the city of Lansing. And I recall with some of my colleagues in my county wondered why I was doing this. I said, where do you work? And we work in Lansing. I said, do I need to say anything more than that? And they understood the purpose for this initiative. <clears throat> with that, um, we also understood that over time, uh, the appropriations that come from the state of Michigan tended to be primarily given to the Metro Detroit area of Grand Rapids. If you allow, allow me to use the analogy of a loaf of bread, a third of them, excuse me, three quarters of the loaf of bread went to the metro area, the other quarter went to Grand Rapids area, and we got essentially nothing. Occasionally some crumbs. Uh, one of our intents with this particular initiative is to change that paradigm. Uh, in the past, we were never unified as a group to allow our capital caucus to have a, a backing of the entire region as they push forward an agenda that we'd like them to push forward. So we think that will, <coughs> excuse me, this will go a long ways to help that. Uh, we'll know in a while when we get some projects that require some additional funding from the state. Let me conclude this way. I want to have you understand and characterize <coughs> sinuses are a wonderful thing, aren't they? <laughs> Let me characterize our initiative this way. Our region, our communities, are made up of both blue-collar and white-collar workers. If you will, a light blue-collar workforce, if that makes sense to you. We don't have billionaires. We don't have millionaires carrying our water, a part of, our, a part, part of carrying our water. We have to do it ourselves. So please understand this initiative is a demonstration of our independence, and of that you should be proud. So thank you very much. Bob, thank you so much. So at this time, I'm going to invite uh, Bob Blake and Kara to join me. We're going to sign uh, the MOU. We'll conclude that. I think instead of taking questions up here, I know we have a number of media here, but all of our uh, all of our speakers here today will be available for uh, any questions and interviews that the media may have at the end of that. So as we here, we'll sit down. Uh, the first act of collaboration was figure out how to pass the papers around. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. okay. so that does conclude the uh, the formal part of the press conference here today. Again, each of our speakers and uh, up here will be available for questions and answers. I want to just on behalf of the Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce, Ingham Meaton and Clinton County leaderships, yeah. Dave Hollister and Eric Sir, from Michigan State University. Thank you all for joining us this morning. So, and have a great day. <laughs>